Hello, this is a geometry video on the topic of transformations. And the first type of transformation we're going to look at is a reflection. And uh, transformation, if you're not clear, what that means is you take something in geometry and you either move it or you change its size, or both. Now, what we begin with here, there's a vocabulary word called the pre-image. And when we perform some kind of transformation, the result is called the image. And what I did here is I used this line to be my line of reflection, which is what you need. You need some kind of line of reflection in order to reflect. And then when I click the button here, you'll see there is my image of this pre-image. The other thing you should notice is what happens to the capital letters that were the points. They get a prime to indicate what used to be A is now A prime in the reflection. And here's something cool with this dynamic software. We can move our line, which adjusts our reflection. And we can also, yeah, there we go, change uh, the appearance of our polygon. And no matter what happens to the pre-image, same thing will happen to the image. OK, so pretty cool. This is called a reflection. Now, there are other more specific types of reflections we're going to look at. The first has to do with the coordinate plane. Remember these are all x values, these are all y values, positive, negative, and so on. And so this is now the, what's the word, or the shape we're starting with? The, the pre-image, and what we're going to get after we reflect is the image. So there's a little vocab practice for us. And now let's, oh now it stays up. Come on. Sorry, technical difficulties. So let's look at the reflection. And oh yes, I should also mention this y-axis is a commonly used line of reflection in geometry problems and that's what we're using for this example. So the y-axis, which has an equation of x equals 0, that is the equation of the y-axis, that's our line of reflection turning red right there. So let's reflect. I'm sure everyone can picture what it looks like. A becomes A prime, B becomes B prime, and so on. We'll put the grid up here so we can see a little more clearly the actual coordinates of these points. And let's look at the coordinates. And one of the things that can be really helpful in geometry and for these kind of transformation problems, especially on the coordinate plane, is look for some kind of pattern between A and A prime. What happens when you reflect across the y-axis? The values don't change, but one of the signs changes. That should make sense. Same with B and B prime. Same with C and C prime. The y value doesn't change, but the x becomes the opposite. All right, and remember, this is a type of transformation. It's a reflection, needing a line of reflection. And the last one we're looking at is a little more specific case when we are using this line as our line of reflection. And this is an important line Oops. Uh, in later math courses as well, because it is something that relates to functions and their inverses. Uh, we're not going to talk a lot about that. But let's look at this. See if I can get this thing to work. There we go. What do we call the original point? The pre image, or the original figure, I should say. And the reflected figure, or our transformation, is called the image. And the image has the D prime, the E prime, the A prime. Right? These are the the new version of this. And the last thing I want you to see on this screen is see if you can find a pattern between the coordinates. So let's take a look at the coordinates of the pre-image. For instance, A is 6, 2. On the image, look what happens to A prime, 2, 6. B is 4, negative 3. B prime, negative 3, 4. This is starting to examine a pattern 
when this line of reflection, the line y equals x, means it has a slope of 1 and a y-intercept of 0. Right? It's sort of like our parent graph for lines, our most basic line. Okay, next video, different kind of transformation.